living God. When God protects us, I tell you, they shall surely gather. They the Lord, the Lion, that will always scatter them. Yes. Oh 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 Sacrifice of praise to They have received their reward in full. Verse 17. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that it will not be obvious to men that you are fasting, but only to your father who is unseen. And your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Amen. When you fast, have you asked somebody by your side, do you fast? You know that this is Lenten period and fasting is a part of the spiritual curriculum of the season. And uh, what we call the Lenten triplets. The three things, the three pillars of Lent. And that has to do with fasting, prayers, and arms. 
So fasting is one of the pillars of this season, the Lenten season. That is why the prayer group, the leaders, deep feed that discuss the subject of fasting. So our topic for today is the fasting part. Fasting part. So fasting part. You know what fasting is? You know what pap is? How do you spell pap? P A P. P stands for excesses. A stands for and. Why the second P stands for power. So we are looking at the fasting processes and power. The processes of fasting and the power of fasting that's what we shall be looking at so by way of definition let's look at what fasting is number one fasting means temporary cessation from food or from food intake for spiritual purposes temporary cessation from food intake for spiritual purposes. Temporal is not permanent. Number two, what is fasting? Fasting is an intentional starving of the flesh so as to stop the spirit. Intentional starving of the flesh for the stopping of the spirit you stop the flesh in order to stop the spirit that is fasting what is fasting number three fasting is a spiritual journey of fleshly deprivation temporarily for spiritual gains a spiritual journey of fleshly deprivation temporarily for spiritual gains for spiritual gains number four what is fasting total or partial temporary abstinence from food and other sensual pleasures for spiritual ascendancy what is fasting? Total or partial temporary abstinence from food and other sensual pleasures, sensual pleasures for spiritual ascendance. What is fasting? Number five, a spiritual discipline whereby the desirable, the desirable is put on hold for a time for the profit of the soul what is fasting number six I mean number five i said it is a spiritual discipline whereby the desirable is put on hold for a time for the profit or benefit of the soul desirable you cannot fast from something that is not there. You cannot fast from something that is not good. You cannot fast from is evil. Because fasting means temporary cessation. In other words, a pause. A pause does not end something. Whatever is put in pause will eventually resume. So sometimes when we talk about fasting from sin, that does not exist. You don't fast for what is not desirable. You fast for what is important, for what is desirable, for what is needed, for what is good. But you avoid it temporarily because you want the soul to gain ascendance. If you are among those that join people saying uh, fast from sin, that doesn't make any sense. 
you don't fast from sin. You run away from sin. You fast from food. You fast from what is good. You fast from what is needed. You fast from what is desirable. But temporarily, you are going to eat. In order to return to it, what is needed. Are we communicating? Spiritual words. I mean, fasting words. What's our topic? Fasting power. Okay. Our text is Isaiah chapter 58, verses 3 to 8. But before we look at it, let's look at the kinds and the types of fasting. So let's start from the kinds of fasting. Five kinds of fasting. Five kinds of fasting. Number one, in-day fasting. In-day fasting. In-day means fasting within the day. It could be six to nine, six a.m. to nine a.m., six a.m. to twelve noon, six a.m. to one p.m. to three p.m. to five p.m. to six m to nine p.m. However, it is within the day, so it is in day fasting. Number two, full day or days fasting. Full day or days fasting, meaning he has to run for 24 hours. Full day or days fasting. That is when you fast for six to six the following morning, the following day. Or you fast like Esther for three good days on the stretch. Or you fast for one week, for four days, five days, one week, seven days, or you fast for 14 days, or you fast for 21 days, or you fast for 40 days, like 21 days, like Daniel, 40 days, like Moses, like Jesus. This is full day or days fasting. Number three. Number three is specialized fasting. Specialized fasting. Specialized fasting is when you fast from something else that is not food. So people fast from meat. So they eat food, but they don't do not eat meat. This is special kind of fasting. Don't go fast for drinks. There are those who don't drink, whether it's mineral, some drink. Why? Specialized fasting. So people can fast from talk, talking. Since from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., I will not talk to some anybody. Talk. Fasting from what? Talk. That is specialized fasting. So go fast from pomade, cream. I will not run cream again. For such a period, maybe during the late period, you will not be rubbing cream. That is specialized fasting. Partial abstinence or temporary abstinence from something that is desirable. Specialized kind of fasting. Are we together? There's also what we call under this specialized, we also have fruits only fasting. Is under specialized. Instead of eating food, you be eating only fruits. Fruits. Is still under specialized kind of fasting. Fruit only instead of eating food. Number four is what? In day, in day prolonged fasting. In 
Si tu veux prolonged fasting, praise God. Si tu veux prolonged fasting means you break every day, but it's a long period. Some people are fasting for six months, maybe six to six for six months. So if I fasted for one year, maybe six to six for one year. So if I have done six to nine for one year. So if I have three to six, I think I have done that for a year. Three to six, that is from three. We call that one night fasting. After it, you can eat from morning to three. Once it is three, you will not eat again until the following day. That is three to six night fasting. I think I have done that one for one year. So people do that one for one year. So people have done six to six for seven years. Six to six. In, that is in days, within the day. But it's a prolonged fact. I think what I just said, yeah, we did six to six. Is it for seven years? Is it for six years? So people have done that. So it's a in day, but prolonged. Are we together? Then lastly is... Fasted life. The fifth kind of fasting is what we call living a, a fasted life. That means you can call it fasting, it may not be fasting. Maybe fasting may not be fasting, but it's a fasted life. There are people who are not who are used to not taking breakfast again that they don't see it as fasting, that it comes style. To God, fasted the life doesn't come lifestyle fasting. When it has become part of you, that you don't take it as fasting. Amen. Like me, I can do three days on the stretch, but every day I am not fasting. If it is 7 a.m. and I am eating, I will not eat myself. Do you understand me now? I want to eat as clean as possible. But as for church, she will not be fasting, but she will not eat maybe till 12, till 2. Almost on a daily basis. If I am coming to 8 o'clock mass, I must eat before I come. But she will be coming to sleep, she will not eat. She come back, she will not even feel like it's wanting later. It has become a lifestyle. People are like that. Why there are people that to fast 6 to 9 is a challenge for them. To fast 6 to 12 is a big thing for them. But there are people that they are not fasting, but they will not eat till 2, till 1. So it's, they are living a fasted life. It's a lifestyle. Maybe once in a while, that person can eat the body. But most of the time, it's always skipped. It doesn't count breakfast as that as as food. And it doesn't see it as it, as his fasting. It does not count to it that is fasting. Because he's a he's living a fasted life. Praise God. Someone that has stopped eating meat at all, that is a fasted. It's not that you know that is a difference between this lengthy season, I will not eat meat. But if someone has said I've stopped eating meat at all, it, that is a fasted life, fasting from meat. It's not counting it as fasting again because why is not counted as fasting? As fasting is temporary. Fasting is something you do for a small short period of time and you resume. But when it's living a life or something, it has intention. That is why it's not counted as fasting. So to say, so properly called. Because fasting is not permanent. By the definition I gave you, I was always putting temporary, temporary, temporary for you to know that fasting is not something that should be uh, ad infinitum. It has a cessation. Praise God. Are we together? Then we look at types of fasting. There are two major types. What I listed is five kinds of fasting. There are two major types 
of fasting. Wet fasting and dry fasting. Fasting with water and fasting without water. Praise God. Fasting with water, when water is important, you are still fasting. That you drink water does not break it. But then there is dry fasting. Dry means dry. That means water is not involved. So, you eat 6 to 12 without drinking water. 6 to 6 without drinking water is allowed. You can do 24 hours without drinking water. Most times when I want to do three days of the stretch, I don't drink water the first day. You can even do three days without drinking water. However, fasting that goes beyond one day, you are advised to drink water. The reason is that almost 80% of the, the whole world is made up of water. The same thing, about 80% of the body mechanism is also made up of water. So water is very, very important to avoid what is called dehydration. It's not advisable to do things on the stretch without drinking water, especially when you consider the season. There are some seasons that even 6 to 12, you may report it as you drink, 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 drink. Okay? However, Somebody can do seven days without drinking water. Dry fasting can be done for seven days. But you don't just hear that somebody has done seven days and you want to go and do seven days. Because fasting conditions differ. Moses fasted for 40 days without drinking water. Jesus fasted for 40 days without drinking water. Are you aware? Yes, however, that does not mean that sugar start fasting 40 days. While Moses fasted for 40 days, Moses was in the presence of God, communing with God, and the presence of God, a condition, sanctifying and satisfying the environment for Moses, teaching Moses, the presence of God shielded him. When Jesus did 40 days, Jesus was in the presence, I mean, in the desert, in the presence of God, with him and God alone. It was at the end of us. And then just that Satan came. It's different from you. You are in the market selling. You are in the workshop. Between I you don't understand. And that means the environment. You are in there's not that much distractions. So these are some things to put into concentration before you say you want to fast another person. If you are fasting well, some people who have done indoors three days, lock themselves in their house, in their room. Even when you are weak, you are alone in the house. But even as I'm preaching now, let's assume I'm doing seven days I'm preaching. You, you, some of you can even feel the weakness. And after the talking, I will lose more energy. So what you are doing during the time of fast is also a factor to be considered to know whether you should drink water or not. But if you are going to do fasting beyond three days, except God who specifically spoke to you, say don't drink water. It's advisable that you do drink water does not break the prolonged fast. Water does not break it. So if you are doing three days, drink water. If you are doing six to six, you can manage not to drink water. Okay? Now, scientifically, it is can say seven days without food and will not die. Even if the person not fast, for instance, if you give birth to a child today, a newborn baby today, and the mother dies, and there's not that person to take care of the mother, or even abandon that child in the bush, the child can stay for seven days and see their life. No, I think it's 11 days. It's one I've done that. I've given that to some, some time ago, but I, but I think it's food is 11 days. You can see 11 days without food. The water is 7 days without water. After 7 days, anything can happen. Without water. But without food, 
Child reports we can still level things without food and all that. Because of the reduced nutrients in the system. But water, so water is more important than food in keeping somebody alive. That's the point I'm trying to make. Water is more important than food in keeping somebody alive. Food gives more of energy. Are we together? So you can fast six to one day, you can fast three days, you can fast seven days, you can fast 14 days, you can fast 21 days, you can fast for 40 days. However, once it goes beyond three days, you are advised to drink water, to be drinking water so that you will not get yourself wounded. So we have wet fast and dry fast. Praise the Lord. Then we look at um, the power or benefit of fasting. Matthew and uh, Matthew chapter 17 verse 21. Somebody should read for us and then let's go to our text as we also combine it with fasting that is acceptable and one that is not acceptable. Matthew chapter 17 verse 21, Isaiah chapter 58. The power or benefit of fasting. Amen. Amen. Matthew 17 21 says, He replied, Because you have so little faith, I tell you the truth, if you have faith as small as the mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Amen. Amen. Uh, Matthew 17. That where, where you read. Verse 21. Is that what you read for us? It says, Matthew 17, says, But this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. Is it in your own Bible? Matthew 17, 21. That is after that, uh, after where you read. Just that some, some, some manuscripts, some, some versions don't have it. Is, is that right? Matthew 17, 21 says, But this kind. That is after where you read, uh, not shall be possible to you. He said, but this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. Though that was brought forth clearly in the Luke's version of the Transfiguration. You remember the story, the Mount of Transfiguration, where Jesus came down from the mountain and he met the multitude, the multitude. The point said, I brought my child and they, they couldn't help him. And Jesus cast out the demon. So when they you know, now they said, why would you try to do to me? Cast out that demon. The answer Jesus gave. One is saying, two faith. If you have faith, as well as the first seed, you can even command mountain. Then now add it. However, this guy does not go out except by fasting and prayer. Praise God. So there are some levels of deliverance that fasting is a, require, a requirement to be able to handle such higher ranking officers in the demonic world. Fasting becomes a requisite. Isaiah chapter 58, we are looking at the powers of fasting. Verses 8 and 9, read for us. Amen. Okay, just start from verse, okay, verse 8 and 9. 8 and 9, Isaiah 58. Verse 8 and 9. Yes. Then my favor will shine on you like the morning sun. Yes. Fasting has the way we are to release the favor of God upon somebody. Go ahead. And your wounds will be healed. Fasting has the way we are to bring the healing, spiritual healing, psychological healing, economic healing, academic healing. These are the benefits of fasting. Mm -hmm. I will always be with you to save you. 
Salvation, preservation. Go to. Uh, the presence will protect you from every side. Divine protection by the presence of God. These are the things that fast fasting draws unto us. Verse 9. When you pray, I will answer you. When you pray, there's, there's assurance. Fasting gives us assurance of divine answers. When you call to me, I will respond. Mm -hmm. If you put an end to operation, to every gesture of content, and to every evil word. Go to verse 11, 11 and 12. Verse 11, I will, I will always guide you and satisfy you with good things. Divine guidance and satisfaction. This is why we fast. Ask anyone, do you know why we fast? Push and push and Say, never. Do you know why we fast? These are things. I will listen to them. So if you are not experiencing them, ask God why. Is it I'm not fasting for it? Why are these benefits not coming away? Well? Go ahead. I will keep you strong and well. Divine strength. You will be like a garden that has plenty of water. Uh-huh. Like a spring of water that never runs dry. At all. Verse 12. Your people will rebuild what has long been in ruins. Restoration. What was in ruin before will be rebuilt. You, this again, and on old conditions will be known as the people who rebuilt their work. Their work. Amen. Who restored the real houses. All right. Before we now look at the word fasting that is acceptable and what is not acceptable, let's read the whole verse. We will our our text from verse three because this part just read is like advantage of the fast. But to get the whole story, start from verse three. Start from verse three to read. Before you read, because I'm not going back to this one again. This one just calm down. Has benefits. If it has benefits, God will not be asking us to indulge in fasting. So these benefits are spiritual momentum, spiritual strength, spiritual rank, increase in rank. This kind does not go out except by fasting and by praying. Meaning that if you have sought the face of God, if you have tried to deal with an issue in your life through praying, and the thing refuses to go, you are to add fasting. To fasting and prayer are twins that go hand in hand to dismantle satanic monuments, demonic obstacles and hindrances. And he says, when you pray, I will answer. My presence will bring preservation, will bring protection, will bring restoration, etc. So there are many benefits we went back on fasting. So start from fasting, let's look at our text totally. Verse 3. The people ask, why should we fast if the Lord never notices? Why should we go without food if he pays no attention? The Lord says to them, the truth is that at the same time as you fast, you pursue your own interests and oppress your workers. Your fasting makes you violent and you spoil and fight. Do you think this kind of fasting will make me listen to your prayers? When you fast, you make yourself suffer. You bow your head like low, like a blade of grass, and spread out sackcloth and ashes to lie on. Is that what you call fasting? Is that what you call fasting? So, if your fasting is not producing results, check whether what you call fasting is actually fasting in the sight or in the eyes of God. Go ahead. Do you think I will be pleased with that? The kind of fasting I want is this. Remove the change of operation and remove and the yoke of injustice and let the oppressed be free. Share your food with the hungry and open your homes to the homeless. Homeless poor. Give clothes to those who have nothing to wear and do not refuse to help your own relatives. Praise God. 
that is our text and um, the next of topic is non-acceptable fasting and then acceptable fasting so there are fastings that don't please god there are modes or methods of fasting that are not acceptable to god so what are the types of kinds of fasting not acceptable to god that don't please god we say number one we you are fasting out of selfishness you say you are seeking your own pleasure you don't have god in mind you have yourself in mind probably fasting out of pride selfishness number two fasting to show fasting to show you can fast you good man can fast you want to show people that yes you can do it now you are a super brother a super sister you are fasting to show off that you are superior to other people just like the prayer of the pharisee and the the sinner I am not like that other man there. I fast. I fast three times a day. Fasting to show up. That is not the type of fasting that, is, that pleases God or that is acceptable to God. Number three, fasting in sin. I say number one is fasting in selfishness. Number two, fasting to show up. Number three, fasting in sin. You are fasting. Yes, you are committing sin. I know a brother that did it for Lent. In 40 days and in 46 days. And he concluded the fast with masturbation. You are fasting from food. But you are going to visit a boyfriend, go to visit a, a girlfriend. But we are fasting, we are in Lent. You are living in unforgiveness. Heaven will settle our case, but you are fasting. Lent. You are quarreling, you are fighting, but you are fasting. You are in Lent. Do you know that some people can come to stations of the cross and still so and still put food in the church? We are fasting. And still fasting in sin. Number four, fasting as an obligation without commitment. What does that mean? Every Wednesday, we they say we should fast. Uh, every Thursday, ministers, you must fast. You are mind without commitment. You are just doing it because it is an obligation. Not that you, your heart is in it. You are just fulfilling an obligation. You are doing because they say we should do. But you have, your mind is not there, so no interest, no benefit because you are not doing it as an, a spiritual exercise, but they say we should. Obligation without commitment. Number, number what now? Number five. Competitive fasting. Competitive fasting. You hear that brother fasted six to six. You so say, let me come fast six to, six to seven. So that I will pass him. You hear that brother fasted six, three days. I know I must fast four days so that I will pass him. Competitive. So there's nothing wrong if you pick challenge. From one of the boys, and what it is not to pass that brother. Because why sometimes we share these things in Tibet us? When our brother, uh, now Reverend Father, Father Bali, in Wajuku, came to our group, he prayed for us. Anybody thought to fall, anybody thought to fall. I thought they inquired. I never seen this kind of power before. And he said he fasted for 14 days for that program. I said, wow. I said, I've been fasting. I've been fasting three days. You know why I'm excited. 
to look you. I just get us on our people, the leader of the is my dad. Get us some people. Even somebody, the leader of prison and worship, Brother Jerry, was the leader. Remember, prison and worship, joined us and we fasted four days. That was the first time I fasted for four days because I had another person's testimony. So that's why we share it. So I didn't know it's possible. I didn't know, you know that I saw it by myself. And when we went to conclude that fasting, it was on the desert. Anybody I laid hand upon also fell down. I said, wow, so that's how the thing works. Praise God. That was the first time I fasted for four days. Although we, we took pure water in the evening, it's pure water. Yes. I fasted for four days on my own. I fast the last time I'm inside in our desert. That morning was when I broke my five day fast. After it was Monday night, I didn't eat a bit that Sunday morning. That was five days. I fasted for five days. Praise God. There are people who have fasted for 21 days. I've never tried that one. <laughs> 14 days. I've never tried that one. Amen. ETC. So, but we don't fight fast to compete. Uh -huh. So, brother, I did two. I will do three. No. Fasting with strife. Power comes with the ministry and you are fasting. Fasting for what? Power comes with the leadership and you are fasting. Power comes with between you and your husband, between you and your wife, and you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are fasting. It does not work like that. He said, no, that does not please me. It not, does not please God. Finally, fasting to lose weight. That is called diet. There are some who don't eat three times a day, or even don't do it once a day. And the reason is because they want to lose weight. That one has no spiritual value. You are not fasting because you want to be closer to God, because you want to understand, understand the things of God, you are fasting to lose weight. So if you are not believe that and stop eating food, you are to lose weight. That is diet. Before we conclude, fasting that pleases God, the one that is acceptable to God, number one, lifestyle fasting. When it has become part of you for the sake of the kingdom, Number two, fasting under leading. Under leading. If the Lord says, don't eat for three days, you are doing it because the Lord is in his view. Fast for 14 days, you are doing it because the Lord is leading you. There are someone that can come and do midnight or go to the desert, go to the mountain every night for seven days because God is saying go. That one bears more fruit than when I say, oh brother is going, and I start going. I will still get favor because it's a spiritual thing. But I, I was not led by God. I was led by God. <laughs> Praise God. So when God tells you to do something and you are doing it under obedience, it pleases God. Fasting that is pleasing to God. Number three, fasting that has commitment. You know you are doing something. You are conscious that you are doing something. You try to protect what you are doing. You don't talk anyhow because you are doing something. You don't worry because you are fasting. There is commitment. It's not just you don't eat food, but you are cracking jokes, doing all manner of things. No. Fasting with commitment. Fasting with generosity. That's why arms giving is part of it. You cannot say you are fasting. Someone asks you for help, you refuse. Someone asks you to visit any kind of generosity. You have something, if somebody comes to borrow, you refuse. Yet you are fasting. You are fasting is not guided by love. There is no kind of, no, uh, no generosity attached to it. But if it is done by generosity, this is the one that is pleasing to God. You are free with other people for the sake of God. Fasting that goes with kindness, being kind to your family members, to your neighbors, in the office, to your staff, 
to your workers, to your employer, to your employees, etc. Fasting with forgiveness, as we have said. In conclusion, some of us in conclusion, breaking of fasts. How do we break fast? It depends on whether it's a long fast or a short fast, a wet fast or a dry fast. There is no protocol for breaking fast if it is day fast. 6 to 12, you can break with anything. 6 to 12, you can break with anything. It is when it is a prolonged fast that protocol is required. For instance, fasting for 60 days. I can do it. You don't just come and sit and start eating uh, apple. <laughs> you, know, you start with something liquid. You start with fruits. It's better. I used to do it three days, so I normally break it. Either fruit or tea. But well, when I say tea, it's not tea like the one my wife used to drink. <laughs> hot water. <laughs> it should be warm. Warm, not hot water. Because there are people who take tea with hot water, not warm water. They are not the same thing. So just to be warm, not like to be hot. Yes, you can use warm water. Warm tea. Liquid first. The tea recommended or fruit. And it's also recommended that you don't eat to your satisfaction the first time. You eat small. Your body system is adjusting. Adjusting. Praise the Lord. However, when we say fruit, does not mean that if you cannot afford fruit, you say you don't find because you cannot afford fruit. Once your body system adjusts to what you have, that thing will start serving you. Amen. And I also discovered from experience, when I take longer fast, my sister I take longer fast almost on a weekly, weekly basis, it has killed sickness and weaknesses in my life. I have stopped treating malaria for so many years as I had my technology. But once in a while, I think paracetamol works in a while. This is how I feel quite fine. But since I started engaging on long, prolonged fast, I was sharing with the child. I said, I, I, I don't have any need for paracetamol. The fasting has killed every place of weakness or sickness or headache that makes me take paracetamol. But I can't remember when it last. Fasting has been going on three days. I stopped taking paracetamol. I used to take once in a while before. Part of the benefit. Praise God. So fasting is a spiritual exercise. Sometimes it varies, depends on situations, body systems, working conditions. That will work with the kind. But find out which one suits your body. Don't go three days before brother is doing three days. Don't do seven days because sister is doing. Ah, uh, six days. Don't do six to six with that water. Because somebody do six to six with that water. Find out your what suits your person. What matters is you are committed to what you are doing and you are seeking the face of God. And it's also advisable that you make out time to pray and study the word of God and be in meditation while fasting. Not just to Forget food without playing with the football. From playing with the football, you are doing that. that there is not that spiritual you know, connection. So fast is a spiritual thing, and other spiritual things should be connected to it for maximum impact. Praise the Lord. Yes, conditions in fasting. If you are fasting and what you are doing does not give you the opportunity to read the word of God and to pray. What do you do? The word of God has both the physical one and the spiritual one. You meditate on the word of God already on your inside. If you don't have the time based on what you do and where you work, to come and sit down and open the Bible, just be thinking about that word of God. You can be reading the Bible in your mind. For instance, John 3, 16, God so loved the world, I know it. I also can, can be thinking about it, which is 
can give me the same benefit as coming to put it from the Bible and reading it. So if you don't have the opportunity to read, don't have the opportunity to pray, you pray. You can be walking on the road and be praying. You can be driving and be praying. You can, sometimes you can even be eating and be praying. Do you understand? So prayer must not be uh, one hour or 30 minutes. That what is called ejaculatory prayer. Even on that two seconds, you can say prayer and continue what you are doing. What, that is the commitment. What matters that you have heart is in it. It's different from when you have all the time. You are going to play football. You are going to uh, watch film. You, you don't have time to do all those things. Praise the Lord. Are we together? Then, uh, who are to fast? Can pregnant people fast? Can uh, drug patients, those who are taking drugs fast? The answer is both yes and no. When you say someone is pregnant, it depends on the level of the pregnancy. And it also depends on the level of the fasting. Six to nine, three hours. Is it not fasting? Is it fasting? What matters is that somebody has his mind that or her mind that is fasting. Sometimes you can even be in your house, you are not fasting, but they are cooking food. You still for five hours, food is not yet ready. Like the one that uh, Peter, Peter was hungry and was waiting for for food. And he went, he started seeing trance. He went into trance because he was hungry. So what I mean is that fasting once you, you find your proper disposition but if you are like for instance if you are in ministry i mean this is doing fasting six to three or six to six that is the one a pregnant mother a nursing mother that you are breastfeeding these people are, are exempted from prolonged fast even in ministry like in nursing ministry they are always exempted and there's an alternative either you read some psalms or you say the rosary, something like that. Because if you are breastfeeding, you are pregnant, you are not supposed to fast because of the baby, not even because of yourself. However, when I say this, that fasting depends on category. Someone can say, I want to fast, and I want to fast for one hour. I'm, I'm pregnant, but instead of eating by seven, I want to eat by eight because I want to be part of the fasting that is it but body systems are not the same levels of pregnancy are not the same is it first trimester or second trimester or the last trimester also when somebody is sick depends on the type of sickness so people are not eating because of ulcer they fasting because of ulcer but if they don't eat food it becomes a problem why there are other people also that have used fasting to kill their own ulcer. You see that, just like that convention will say, everything is by the leading. When the spirit leads you to do something, that thing will be a positive result. Don't do because another person has done. Follow the leading of the spirit. A brother said, he said, I must do this fasting. He told me, what? He said, even if I'm, it was also, said, even if I'm going to die, let me die, but I must do this fasting. I will not eat on such a time. And he did not eat. And after that day, just a time. That doesn't happen for everybody. You understand it now? So, follow your, follow your faith and follow the religion. But generally, the church does not support that if you are sick, you should fast. If you are, if you are pregnant, you, in fact, the church will say, if you are looking after the sick, you are also not supposed to fast. Because you need the strength to attend to that sick person. Even somebody looking after the sick is not supposed, is exempted from fasting. However, just like I say, understand it differs. You can fast for one hour just because your mind is in it. Okay. Um, can one listen to preachers on TV or radio when fasting, but not home video? Even home video, you can watch home video while fasting. There's nothing you cannot do as long as it is not sin. But it is preferable that you do the ones that will draw you closer to God and help you concentrate. For instance, listening to preaching 
on TV and radio is a spiritual thing. It's just like reading your Bible is a spiritual thing. Just as I'm preaching to you now. That is what is needed. Is a your your track. You can even watch home video if you want. Because there are especially children who fashion six to twelve guy. But if they are watching uh, video uh, film, they will not know when that time will reach because our levels are not the same. You understand? But it's different from me like me now as an adult. I know I can fast this to this. And I fast this to this or six to three. I when I prefer to go and watch uh, home video instead of to go and listen to what uh, preaching or something like that. You see that one is, is a different thing. That's why I said God does not judge everybody generally. What is good for A may not be good for B, depending on the A's level and the B's level. That is it. So if watching the home video is what will make you to keep to fulfill that fast, it's better you watch it than you are you are, you are, you are you are fasting and you are crying because you are seeing a lot of other people eating food. But if anything can make you remove your mind from food. Yes, that is okay. But this is especially for children. Is it advisable for under 20 to fast 6 to 6? Under 10 can even fast 6 to 6. One is the best on training. Yesterday was Sunday. I went to see the Lord Mass because we had marriage committee meeting. And after the marriage committee, I came back to eat. Our children went to 8 o'clock mass, but they did not eat and go. If I'm at home, I must eat before going to 8 o'clock mass. Trainees, they are following after the church in the house. They can go to mass without eating me. I don't go to church without eating. Except if it's, if it's 6 o'clock. So before they came back, I don't sit and help myself even before they return from church. So that, what I mean is that there are some children that can be trained from the beginning. Some children can fast more than adults, so it's not about age. Sometimes it has to do with training. So whether someone under 20 years is already, if a teenager is already, can do the thing that an adult can do. May God grant your grace, not just to fast, because others are fasting, but to fast and enjoy the benefits of fasting through Christ our Lord. Yeah, no, I ain't